Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video should be quite a fun, good one, hopefully. Um, I had a comment recently on one of my videos from Tricky Chick Five. It said, "Have you ever tried a cosmetics from Bare Face Beauty? I absolutely love their eyeshadows. I have Tiger Eye, Gold, Amethyst, and Mermaid. Tiger Eye is my favourite. It's a beautiful shimmery bronze. I would love to see a tutorial using Mermaid, as I'm never quite sure how to use it." Um, so I have blue eyes too, so never quite sure how to use it. I use a lot of browns, but want to be more venturous. I got it thinking it'd be a great festival colour. So, with that in mind, I did go out and get it. It was, um, she said it was on sale, it was. It said, it, they, the, the eyeshadow is actually originally retail for £10, but this was down to £8. And it, so it's a, it's a mineral eyeshadow, kind of similar to the Lilo ones. Um, it's vegan and cruelty free, and... Um, and it says on here, Bareface Beauty natural mineral eyeshadows are made with a high density of the finest mineral pigments available. Apply sparingly to eyelid. The 100% ingredients of natural origin. Cosmetics with ethics. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. So it's going to be kind of, there's going to be three components to this video. First of all, it's going to be first impression. So I've obviously never tried this brand before, I've never tried the eyeshadow. Um, so I'm kind of excited to have a little play. Secondly, because one of the things she mentioned is she uses a lot of brown, but she wants to be a bit more adventurous and um, add some colour. So I thought I'd show you different ways. If you're someone who does like to use neutral brown tones and is kind of wanting to try a little bit of colour, how you can incorporate just pops of colour a little bit into different eye looks. I'm going to do uh, maybe three or four different looks where it's kind of neutral tones, browns, and you've got a pop of like this colour with it, just to show you how you can incorporate it. And the third component is because she said she thought it would be great for a festival look, I thought well why not do kind of a festival inspired eye look as well at the end with this, so a bit more colourful and things like that. So I kind of really hope you enjoy this video, um, like I said a few components to it, but I thought it could be a fun one, so let's get started. So it's got a little sieve, just kind of like the Lily Lola ones. Ooh, ooh crikey. Yeah, when they say use it sparingly. So pretty. Ooh. There's little, definitely bits of gold in there. That is a stunning colour for sure. So it feels really nice. It's really smooth, like I said, very pigmented. It feels really nice to kind of, well, whilst I'm blending on my skin, it feels really good and easy to blend. But obviously, a true test will be on my eyes. I thought as it's um, a product made of 100% natural ingredients and it says cosmetics ethics. I'll stick it with my kind of non toxic green beauty makeup. So let's start off with look number one adding a pop of colour. Okay, so for the first look, I'm obviously taking my Lily Lolo eye primer just to quickly prime my eyes. And then I'm going with the Lily Lolo Sweet Nothings palette. First, taking the shade Florentine on a Luxie Fluffy brush and I'm going to pop this through the crease and blend it upwards and outwards to act as my transition shade. Then I'm just taking quickly shade creme brulee just to highlight my brow bone ever so slightly. Then I'm going to take the shade um, Praline on a slightly smaller fluffy brush and kind of pop this in the outer third of my eye and blend it slightly into the crease as well. Like I said, first look is going to be like a typical transition smoky eye type look with a pop of colour. And for the final shade I'm going to take on the outer corner, I'm going to take the shade Bitter Mint. So I'm kind of like gradually darkening up the outer corners of this eye look to create the kind of gradient smoky look going on. Okay, so now I'm actually going to go in with the actual mermaid shade now. And we can have a little, obviously this is going to have a little first impressions part. So I'm going to pop this colour obviously in the inner, like in a third of my lid. So it's kind of like a standard smoky eye with a pop of colour really. I'm going to take it on a flat brush because I think that's probably the best way to apply it. Either that or a... your finger probably. But let's just go with a flat brush and see what happens. Just going to tap some off. Ooh. 
a really pretty colour. I feel like maybe if I go with my finger, I'll get more, it might be better. Oh yeah. Finger is definitely the way to go with this product. A brush and just soften the edges slightly. Just taking a very light hand when I'm blending out the edges. Okay, so that is the first look of adding a pop of colour, and also that was my first impressions of this product. And I have to say, I really think this product is really pretty. Um, it feels smooth. I think, yeah, like I said, finger's definitely the way to go, and it's a very stunning colour that like, applies beautifully, and you can easily blend out and soften the edges. So this is quite a nice way of adding a pop of colour, it's kind of a standard smoky eye, usually you can put like a gold or a silver there or keep it matte but it's quite a nice way of adding a pop of colour just in that inner third of the eye. I've kept the lower lash line bare just to keep it a bit softer as well, um, but that is look number one, adding a pop of colour. Okay so for this look again I'm going in my little eye primer just to prime my eyes. Okay, then I'm taking that shade Florentine again and I'm popping this all over the lid and blending it up into the crease section. And I'm going to build on that using the shade Bitter Mint. So I'm going to use all those same shades again and kind of create eye looks with it. And finally going in with Bitumen just to further deepen up the eye. But I won't bring this one as high up as I did before. So kind of a another smoky eye look. And I'm going to run a mixture of Florentine and Praline just underneath my lower lash line as well. And kind of bring it so it joins the upper section. So for this pop of colour I'm taking the shade Mermaid, I'm just popping it in the inner corner of my eye. It's another quite easy way of adding a pop of colour to a look and it looks really pretty as well I think. Very similarly you can have the exact same eye look but taking off the lower lash line and just taking that Mermaid shade and running it right along the lower lash, eye, lash, lash line. Sorry. This is another really, really easy way of adding a pop of colour to a makeup look. And I think it can look really, really pretty as well. And so the final way I'm going to show you how you can add a pop of colour. So I'm going to take my green, my little primer again to prime my lids. Now first of all, I'm going to take the shade Florentine again. I'm going to pop this on the outer section of the lid and also the inner section of the lid. So for this one this is going to be a halo slash spotlight eye so the mermaid shade will go right in the centre to act as the spotlight for this look. So again I'm using all the same three shades I kind of just go ahead and build up the outer and inner section. So that shade of praline, which was the next one I popped down, I also take it a little bit through the crease as well. And then finally going in with the shade of Bitter Mint, just to really deepen the outer and inner sections of the eye. So for the fun part, I'm going to take the shade Mermaid and like I said, pop this in the very centre of the lid to act as the spotlight eye. As you can see, it's an absolutely stunning colour and I really think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm just taking a brush just to make sure it's kind of blended in with the rest of the colour. And that is the fourth and final way I'm going to show you to how to add a pop of colour into a neutral eye look. So for the last part of this video I'm going to use the eyeshadow and create some kind of festival eye look. So something quite colourful I think is going to be good 
and something quite fun, hopefully. So, yeah, that's the next part. Okay, so I'm starting off the Lilo Eye Primer again, as always. And then I'm going to take the PHB palette, taking the bright pink blusher shade on a big crease brush from um, Real Techniques. I'm going to pop this kind of all over the lid and into the crease as well. I'm going to be quite messy to begin with and not blend out. I'm just kind of packing down and popping on the colour and making it quite vibrant for now. On a slightly smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to take the finishing powder from this palette and that's going to be used to help blend out the edges of this pink colour and slightly soften it as well. Then I'm going to go into a really dark blusher shade on a smaller crease brush and I'm going to run this through the crease just to help deepen up that section of the eye. Then I'm taking a little bit of the primer again, not that you can see me doing this, and popping it back onto the lid. And then I'm taking the mermaid shade and I'm packing this right on top. So I'm going to pop this all over the lid. And I thought it would be really nice for the greens and the pinks to kind of contrast together. So I'm literally just going to initially pack it all over the lid just to make sure my lid is thoroughly covered. And then take a fluffy brush and ever so slightly just soften the edges of that eyeshadow and kind of blend into the pink colour. Then I'm going to take this Lily Lolo Minute Eyeshadow and Chalk Fudge Cake, a really beautiful kind of purpley brown colour. I'm going to pack this onto the outer portions of the lid, just to add a little extra colour to the eyes. And then I'm going to go with a black shade, the PHP palette, and run this along the outer section of the upper lash line just to add a bit of definition to the lash line. Okay, for the lower lash line, I'm taking that pink blush again and running it right along the lower lash line, joining up to the outer portion of the eye. Then taking the mermaid shade and popping it into the inner corner and bringing it slightly out onto the lower lash line as well. And then I'm taking that chalk fudge colour and running this along my outer section of the lower lash line just to deepen that up slightly. Then I'm taking the Pacifica Stelagaze Mascara and giving my upper and lower lashes a good couple of coats. And then I decided I actually want to take the Orchid colour from Lee Lolo and use this as my brow bone highlight and also pop this in the inner corner of the eyes as well just to really kind of brighten the eye look up slightly. And then finally his lips. I decided to go with a bright pink lips. This is Hansen Pure, um, the Cocoa Butter Matte Lipstick in Marrakesh, which is one of my favourite pink lipsticks of all time. Uh, I'm just popping this on my lips to complete this look. So that is this first of all inspired makeup eye makeup look using that eyeshadow. And that is actually this video complete. So, I really hope you have enjoyed this video, it's had a lot of elements to it, it's like a first impressions of this eyeshadow um, from Bareface Beauty, um, a couple of ways you can add a pop of colour to your look if you're someone who likes to wear mainly neutral colours but you want to be a bit more adventurous and so they're kind of like looks that aren't too over the top but just a little pop of colour and obviously then this festival fun colourful inspired makeup look using that shadow as well. I quite like the green and the pinks together. I think it looks really nice. Um, so yeah, so I really do hope you have enjoyed this video. Keep your requests coming down below. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.